Hey, this is Derek with Mobile Nations reporting today for Crackberry, Android Central, and iMore.com. We're here today with Ford. Uh, we're going to be talking about some mobile applications they are working with to integrate with the new Focus Electric. This is my Ford Mobile, an application that we developed to go along with the Focus Electric to help a buyer of the Focus Electric get used to the EV lifestyle. So instead of just being a, a uh, simple dashboard of what's going on, there's a whole suite of tools in here that I'll show you in a minute. The first glance here, we're going to see just a little bit of information. It looks nice and simple, but you'll see that there's a lot in here. Our car is plugged in. We can see that we have 51% charge. It says I have 46 miles of driving based on that. But you look further, you see that I've named my car Dylan's EV. It's like a little bit of a personality. I can name it anything I want. Dylan's EV is what I chose for this. Is at home, and that's important because the car recognizes at home there's a specific set of rules on how to charge. It's waiting until 9 p.m. tonight to charge because it's cheaper there. If I were to plug it in somewhere else, it would just simply uh, use the regular charging schedule and charge up. If I needed to have my car before 11 p.m. based on this, I can simply push the button here, swipe over to oh, uh, twice, charge now, and now my car is charging and it'll be ready much, much sooner. I also have this list of accomplishments that I have done by driving my Focus EV. You can see that I have a CO2 saved of 2,310 2, pounds and money saved at $366. Now this is not some random number. This is because I actually went in the website and put in the vehicle that I, uh, the other vehicle I drive and the mileage that comes off of that. And this tells me that I actually saved $366 in gas by choosing to drive this instead of my other vehicle. Okay. I also have my driving scale of Zippy to Zen. Zen being those that are really, really efficient in the way that they drive. Zippy being more like me, where, hey, it's got a lot of torque. This is a fun car to drive. And, you know, I do a little bit. I don't need all 100 miles of range, so instead I, I take my 20 mile commute and make it a lot of fun. I also have my achievements here, which is exactly like, this is gamification, Ford style. It's, it's uh, like the Xbox Live achievements, or maybe Foursquare badges, where you get them for not only um, hitting mile markers like miles driven or something like that, but also learning about the application. So signing up for my Ford Mobile, setting up your first value charge, which we'll get to in a minute. But there's all kinds of stuff, and we also have some hidden secrets in here too. that will be a lot of fun that people will find later. I've got the, the first integrated uh, charge station finder here. Uh, other applications, you can, you can find charge stations, but you have to open up a third party application or something specific. Our partner MapQuest has gone out and gotten all of that data and put it together in here so you can simply find it right here. All right. We also have our, our trip planner, and this is kind of a, a range finder. So a, a typical EV driver already thinks in a plug to plug mentality. I'm going to unplug, I'm going to hit these three stops, and I'm going to plug back in afterwards. So you can see here, we've kind of done the same thing and made it much, much easier. I'm going to start my journey at my car's current location because it would be silly to start anywhere else. I'm going to end at a place where I can plug in, and then in between I'm going to start to put places that I need to stop off. It is dinner time, so we're going to stop and get some pizza. I hit search, and it's going to do uh, a search on pizza that's around, not in order of around my car or around home, but what is the best run of pizza joints between those two locations. Excellent. They give it to me in that order. So then I just sit there and randomly select a pizza joint and say that's the one I want. And then unfortunately for this demo, they're all really, really close. <laughs> so you're going to see that I'm only going a mile away and a mile back. But if it were a little bit further, it, would project, it takes a prediction and says, this is what we think it's going to be based on your driving range. Okay. And if it were something where it's kind of keeping close to what your range is, yeah. it'll give you a tip based on your driving to say, perhaps you should lay off the accelerator a little bit and uh, you might make it there much better. Right. Also, it is personalized data. So if you and I were sharing a car mm -hmm. and you drove uh, Zen and I drove Zippy, your range estimates would be very different and your results here would be very different for me. We also have our ability to remote control, lock, unlock, uh, remote start the car, our vehicle locator so that if it's uh, somewhere around town and I forgot where I parked it, it'll route yeah. me to it. Okay. Our vehicle info to make sure that everything's running fine. But this is some, some cool stuff here. This is my go times. So I can tell the car I need to leave at 6 o'clock every morning and I want it to be 72 degrees for me. So instead of burning my battery to make the car warm, it uses wall power, which of course, A, makes it nice and toasty for me, but also doesn't deplete my range yeah. by trying to make it warm instead of getting me down the road. I also have the uh, default value charge, or the value charge profiles, which is uh, our partner Microsoft, went around to all the utility companies in the country, got all the data on their different plans mm -hmm. and made it much, much easier for our customers to just simply say, this is where I live, this is the plan that I have, okay. and that's it. After I set that up, the car will automatically receive information from Microsoft 
on the best times to charge at a cheapest point, and right. the car will do it automatically. I don't have to do anything after I set that up. Last but not least, there's quite a bit in here. You can get this demo off the of, uh, iTunes soon, or your, your uh, regular uh, app stores. We also have local rankings. This is a set of competitions, or leaderboards, that are a rolling 30-day window. It's like, um, I would say, points in Foursquare. That right, right? gives it a bit of a social aspect. Yeah, absolutely. It's a a couple different reasons. It's a leaderboard. And, and the reason we want leaderboards is, number one, competition's fun. Let's see how I did. Yeah. And number two, if I'm really trying to sit there and figure out how do I become a Zen master, mm -hmm. and I just can't quite do it, I can look at the list of the top 10 Zen masters and say, hey, why don't you give me some tips on how I do it? And keep that, that community going, too. Excellent. So in a nutshell, that's my Ford Mobile, a whole bunch of... Uh, uh, applications combined together to make driving an EV very, very easy. Okay, now this is uh, working with the Focus Electric right now. So Currently it's working with the Focus Electric. Okay. It will be available for all of our electric vehicles. Okay, and right now we're demoing on the iPhone. Is this going to be on any other platforms? It will absolutely launch on the iPhone, okay. Android, Blackberry, right. and on the web as well. Excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This has been uh, Derek with Mobile Nations at Ford CES 2012.